we very much believe that every child's learning style is different um, and every child really requires their own personal curriculum and I think by providing the kind of environment that we, that we do um, and looking very much at child initiated learning and children choosing and guiding their own learning, obviously with supportive adults in the background, um, that, that means that you know, we are completely inclusive and it is led by the child. Hello everyone, how are you? Hope you have a lovely morning. So where are we now? What are we doing? Can you remember? We're doing nursery narrative. So we recognise that some children do need some additional help, perhaps to build their confidence, perhaps to help them communicate. Um, so what we're trying to do is identify what those particular needs are and then provide them in a, in a supportive way. OK, now we're going to play a game now and I'm going to sing a song to you and I'm going to ask you where you are. Okay, Merely, Merely, where are you? Here I am, here there. I am, how do you do? That's fantastic, Merely, well done. As a resource provision, we do have a high percentage of children with special educational needs, but we are a fully inclusive provision. So we have a look at each child as an individual child first, and then we have a look at the needs that need to be supported. Teach. I see pig. red pig. I see a red pig. Good talking. So a very important part of supporting a child with special needs is actually looking at the family and the, and the support that the family needs and also the coordination of the services around the child and family. So by having Portage on site and by having the special advisory teachers in and the educational psychologists, it means that we can provide a package for that child and that family without them having to visit those agencies independently and individually. So I'm Rachel, I'm Oliver's mum and Oliver has a number of disabilities that he um, has to live with day to day really. He's um, first and foremost got cerebral palsy. Put some letters in the box. This is another really good one to be doing with him, is um, putting objects into things. We've done some early peg work with him, which he's really enjoyed. Good boy, let Bev help you. Oh, good boy. In he goes. Yay! Yay! The main thing, really, that we, we've seen the difference since he's been here is his confidence. He used to be um, very timid and very anxious, and he's now a lot happier about being out in public and people approaching him. And I think it's all really due to the work that's been done here, because the environment is so stimulating and, and the variety of activities that they do. Um, they're not the sorts of things always that you would be doing at home, but each one of those experiences is just um, made his confidence grow and I think he's really developed in his personality as well. It's just um, made a huge difference to us, them being involved. 